Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by PowerShift channel um, where we work on cars, modify them, fix things, and make videos for make it easier for you guys to work on them. Today we're going to be working on uh, my 2008 Chevy Corvette. Unfortunately it has a check engine light on and it's come up as a P0449 engine code and did a little research on it and uh, putting this video together to help everybody out. So let's get started. Change out your vent valve solenoid. These are the tools you're going to need. For the actual valve itself, it just slides off the uh, metal um, rail that it's on, and then you just unclip the wire connector. But for the clamp that holds the hose on, you'll need a pair of pliers. These are the ones I use. And you'll need some type of scan tool to reset the code. This is the one I originally bought several years ago. It's just a $16 one. Works perfectly fine to reset the code. I think I bought that one at Walmart. And I think about this one at Walmart also, the only reason I started using this one is because uh, I had an airbag light on and it also reads airbag light codes and ABS codes. And then you'll need a new part here. And this is the one I got, I got this one off Amazon. It's a uh, Dorman 911-075 vent valve. In the jack so that it is underneath the center of the cradle right there. And that way I can lift up the back high enough to access the part. I've then put jack stands underneath the ends of the cradle right there just to support it and that's about how I got it to get underneath there to get the part on. Get it off and then get it put back on. You can see the part right on the passenger side by the tr to the right of the transmission and this is the transmission right here. The differential and it's just right up here you can see in there and I'll have it out in just a sec. Alright here's the old one when I was pulling it out I actually broke this off right here but I believe it just snaps in it doesn't matter since it's getting replaced but I wanted to show you the clip here on the back it's got a little stop here and when you're looking at it in the car you'll be able to see it it's right by the plug but there is no fastener on it that hooks it in so you literally just have to use uh, a good amount of force to push it forward and I'm sorry not forward backwards in the car and it'll slide right off this is a new one right here you can see same type of clip and this is a Dorman 911-075 so let's go put it on see I put the plug into the harness and I put the hose into it and it just slides in again this is going in from the back pushing it forward onto that clip and it's really easy to do all right next thing to do is to uh, delete out the code on it I'm in my Corvette right now um, as you can see check engine lights on but the car is just in the accessories mode what I did is I hooked up the scan tool which you can pick up Walmart Amazon anywhere this is one I use um, but I've also used ones that are $15 and they work just as good. Um, I really picked up this one because it also does SRS lights and ABS lights. So we'll go into the screen. And it says it found one code on there. Read codes stored codes so the P0449 which is what I'm making this video on evaporative emission system vent solenoid circuit so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this and erase the codes ensure yes so codes are erased let's just do a recode see if there's anything left in there none on there so I'm going to turn the car on codes off but we'll see maybe it'll come back on maybe it won't what we do is just need to go take it for a ride So overall, 
the job wasn't too bad. Nobody likes having to jack up their car and crawl underneath it, but overall it was a pretty easy job. Probably only took with getting the car jacked up, putting the part in, putting it down, and even making this little video to help out was probably only about 30 minutes. I let it warm up for about four or five minutes before I left the house, and I've been driving it for just about five minutes, and so far, no check engine light on. So sometimes you get lucky on that. Uh, just to talk about a little bit, some of the stuff that I noticed online that could be the issue was a fuse that could have been blown on it. I can't remember which one it is, but I'll put it in the description below which one to check. Um, it could also be the harness wire and or that part itself. And I had a Suburban before and I had to replace two of those, so I, I felt good about just replacing the part. I did check the fuse and it was good. And I figured while I was under there, I'd look under the, at the pigtail. If you could see those videos well, the pigtail looked perfectly fine to me. So it looks like it's going to work out good here for for me here. Um, sometimes just get lucky on it the way it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. If it wasn't, I'd probably replace the pigtail. That'd be my next course of action. Um, but before when I was resetting the check engine light, it would come on almost within 10 seconds. So I figure it's going good here now. So I'll consider that a success. And uh, other thing I want to just mention to you, uh, making these videos, because this is really how I work on my car and figure things out. I go on the internet and I rely on people that has the similar vehicles, similar issues and what they go through and look for them for help. And uh, really want to put a shout out to my buddy Dave. Um, check out his channel. It's called The Hood Scoop. I'll put a, a link to it in the description. And go over there and watch his video and subscribe. He's a really good guy. Um, we talk weekly if not daily sometimes just about different projects we have going on cars we're interested in buying and um, working with him and talking with him has been a big inspiration to, to do a YouTube channel I know he's doing one too so you can see he parts out Silverado trucks so 99 to 2006 Silverado trucks so he's got a lot of videos up there on that um, he's got a Hummer H2 he's got a Corvette like mine and he's owned several classic cars I'm gonna ask him to see if he'll do a video on all the old cars he's owned worked on and, and done. The same, we weren't making videos back there on it, but real good guys who go over there and uh, subscribe to his page and check out, check out the videos he has up there. But I'm going to say this is a, a success. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, do subscribe to the channel if this is your first time on. I'm going to have several videos on it. I'm definitely pumped making these videos like this. It kind of gets me out in the garage and doing things, so I'm going to keep on doing them. And uh, any of the projects I'm working on, the Camaro or the Hummer, um, keep plugging away on those and you can see how they go. Usually keep a car for a year or two and then move on to another one. So um, have fun with those while we can and uh, go from there. But everybody have a good rest of the, the day and I'll see you on the next one.